Well, Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to this uh, special PowerPoint for me because I want the revelation of what I'm going to share with you. This is kind of summarizing this week's assignment of grace, which is grace and mercy. Grace and mercy is that God has given the power to his son's name to find us faultless. In the spiritual realm, you can only be thrown into the jail of sickness and the jail of poverty because of sin. Because the wages of sin is death. Sickness and poverty are a curse. Jesus paid, Jesus paid a price that we might be well and prosper. I'm not talking about some ridiculous abundant wealth. Don't get sideways there. I'm talking about he will meet all of our needs according to his riches and glory through Yeshua, through Christ Jesus, Yeshua's Messiah. And the scripture that the Lord's given to, to me this week to close this out comes out of Jude 24. And it says, And to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. He is able to present us faultless. So why is this presentation so... It, it doesn't say he is able to present us uh, healed. He's not saying he, he's able to present us prosperous. He says, please follow me here. He says he's able to present us falselet, faultless. He's sinless. There's no sin. The blood of Jesus is so important to understand because it removes the sin. Repentance is so important because it activates the blood to remove the sin. The wages of sin is death. If we can walk in a repentive lifestyle, and then what happens is then the Lord will. The byproduct of walking free from sin is health and prosperity. You can't stop it from coming. The work of your hands will be blessed. If you're, if you're walking in the spirit, you're sowing. If you're sowing, you'll have a harvest. And as your harvest increased, you'll sow more and you'll increase more. It's really simple. So as you receive him by grace, who is able to present you faultless into the spiritual realm, then you will continue to go from health to health, faith to faith, glory to glory. And that's what the book of Jude is speaking about. Tonight, I'm going to invite you to come to House of David at 745. It's going to be a powerful time at the Shabbat service. And my prayer this week is, Father God, may God's grace and mercy abound toward you. That you might be found faultless. That you would walk in the liberty of your salvation. That you would walk in the power of his resurrection. And you would walk in the love of the Father that was given as a sign to us that he so loved you and I that he gave his only begotten son to die on a cross for us. He shed his blood to forgive our sins and our sins have been expunged and we are the redeemed of the Lord and we say so. We are sealed, qualified for every good and perfect gifts. Lord, we decree we will seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and we decree all other things shall come unto thee, because that's what your scripture says. Thank you, Lord. We seal it, and I say Shabbat Shalom. I'll see you tonight.